Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the permission denied error when you try to clone a repository from GitHub. I've got a new uh, VPS instance here which I'm logged into. Let's try and clone the repository and see what happens. I'm going to go over to github.com and copy the ssh command. Then back to the terminal I'm going to type in git clone and paste the ssh command. Because this is the first time we're connected to this remote host, um, it's asking me if I want to proceed because it doesn't know uh, it before. And I'm going to type in yes and press enter. And voila, here we have the permission denied error. There are several reasons uh, you might be getting this error. So let's see what they are and how you can solve them. First of all, don't use sudo with the git command. Um, if you're logged in as root, this doesn't apply to you. But if you're logged in as a different user, like I am right now, I'm logged in as uh, Maxim. Uh, if you generate SSH keys without sudo and then use sudo to clone a repository, then you won't be using the same uh, keys. Second, double check you didn't make any typos in the git clone command. I suggest going to the github.com website and copying the SSH command to avoid any manual mistakes. Next, make sure you have SSH keys present on the server you're trying to connect from. To debug an SSH connection, you can use the dash V flag added to the command. Let's debug our connection to GitHub right now. SSH dash V git at github.com. It's going to print a few things to the terminal. We can see that it has successfully connected to this IP address and to this port. Then it's trying to go through a list of uh, possible file names to find a private key to authenticate with the server. Minus one stands for not found. If you do see a one here, then it means you have a private key on your server. And you can go to the next step uh, where we verify that we've added the public key to your GitHub account. Uh, in this case, it's a minus one, so we it couldn't find any private keys and we found the error. Now let's fix it. Let's generate an SSH key pair. If you already have an SSH key pair located on your machine, you can copy the private key to the server and use it to authenticate with the GitHub. I recommend, however, to use uh, a separate key pair for your VPS as it's more secure. You can look at the key pair as an identity. Each machine can be considered an individual identity, your laptop, your phone, or a server in the cloud. Uh, by having separate key pairs for each machine, uh, you mitigate the risk in case one of them gets compromised and a, an attacker manages to steal your private key. To generate a new key pair, type ssh-keygen-trsa. Let's us choose the algorithm for the key pair. In this case, we've chosen RSA. And since we want our key to be as secure as possible, we're going to choose the maximum size of 4096 bits. Dash capital C gives a label to the key, and it's common practice to use your email for that. So let's do that. It's asking us where we want to save the key. We'll press enter for the default location. And then it's asking us for a passphrase. If you don't choose a passphrase, uh, the key will be stored in plain text on the server. If you do choose a passphrase, the key will be encrypted. In the case an intruder gets access to your server, uh, the private key isn't usable unless the correct passphrase is used to unlock it. So choose a passphrase and type it in again. With this, we've created two keys, a private key and a public key. The private key is used to authenticate with remote hosts and should never leave your machine. Do not share this key with anyone. The public key is used to grant access to remote hosts and it's safe to share it with the public. In the next step, we're going to grant the server access to your repository by adding the public key to your GitHub account. Last troubleshooting step is to verify that the public key is added to your GitHub account. Go to github.com and click on your avatar on the right hand corner and then click on settings. In the left hand side, uh, find the SSH and GPG keys section. Here you'll see a list of SSH keys associated with your account. Go back to the terminal and type ssh-keychain dash capital E dash no, MD5 dash LF and then the location of your public key which is id underscore sa dot pop by default. 
This will print the fingerprint of the public key so you can match it with the one associated to your GitHub account. As we can see here, this key starts with A1 colon E6. If you go to your GitHub account, uh, my GitHub account in this case, the key I have starts with 99 colon 44, which means this public key belongs to a different key pair. Let's add the new public key we've just created by clicking on new SSH key. We'll give it a title. And in here we need to paste the key. We'll go back to the terminal and print the contents of the public key file using the cat command. There we go. Copy the key and paste it in here. Then click on add SSH key. Kido will ask you to uh, retype your password. Do that and then confirm. And as we can see, we've added a public key. Uh, let's confirm that the fingerprint matches the one we've printed out earlier. A1 colon E6, A1 colon E6, they match. That's it. We should now be able to successfully clone the repository with the git clone command. Let's try that. Git clone, we'll go and copy the SSH command from github.com. We'll paste it in the terminal. It will ask you for the SSH key passphrase. And success, voila! So that was it folks. I hope this video helped you deploying your app to production and solve the GitHub permission denied error. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fixes around deploying apps to production. Until next time!